Doug and PA back with another video. Guys, I know I talk about women a lot on my channel because this is a red pill channel. I'm a men's advocate. I want to see men succeed, but we're going to pivot and talk about a scam that's targeting young men. Guys, you have to be careful out here in these social media streets because a new scam, it goes where um, a social media profile, IG profile with pictures of a beautiful woman will reach out to a young man. A, a conversation will start and then the, the girl on the profile will say, hey, uh, I'll show you mine if, if you show me yours. So a listed photos get swapped and then the guy finds out that the profile with the beautiful woman on it isn't a woman at all. It's some scammer in a, a different country who is going to try to get money out of you or they're going to share your illicit photo, uh, photos w w with everyone that you're friends with uh, on social media. Guys, be careful, okay? Because this has led to a couple of young men taking themselves out because they didn't see a, a way out. So this article is called Parents Reveal Teen Son Committed Suicide, uh, you know, self-deletion after being extorted this is terrorism we're going to get into this article before i do that like the video subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it it's just you support me and what i'm doing over here and let's see what this scam is all about okay it says at midnight on december 1st of 2022 walker montgomery received a, a direct message from a pretty girl on instagram the 16 year old didn't know her but they seemed to have mutual friends and he was flattered as she asked him about school and football she's Soon, uh, soon enough, things turned from flirtatious to, you know, beyond flirtatious. The girl video chatted Walker on Instagram and soon exposed herself. He did the same and stepped right into a trap. There was no girl at all. The, the video had been lifted from a, you know, a illicit site. The person on the other side of the chat was a Nigerian scam artist who recorded the entire encounter. As soon as Walker's image was captured, the scammer threatened to send the video to all of the boys' Instagram contacts unless he forked over $1,000. So that's him, the poor kid. For two hours, the Starkville, Mississippi teen, who did not have access to a bank account, pleaded for mercy as the extortionist claimed to send, uh, claimed to send the photos to his list of followers one by one. We're going to destroy your life if you don't give us the money. Scammer told him, everybody's going to disown you. Your life is over. As, as a rule, it, it, and I don't know why people are, are still doing this, do not send illicit photos. Do, don't even take illicit photos on your phone. How, how many times have you seen celebrities get their phones hacked? Are we still sending illicit photos of each other? Uh, in text messages and Instagram photos, why are we still doing that in 2023? Guys, as a rule, do not send pictures of your private stuff to anybody under any circumstance, especially, and the only reason why you would do something like that is if you think you have no future. If you think you're going to be successful in any way, you have the potential to be successful don't send illicit photos you don't know when they're going to come back to you or, or when it's going to come back to bite you it says when the list got to his mother's username it was too much for the team to stand he said he was going to off himself go ahead because your life is is already over the scammer reported walker retrieved a handgun from his father's safe and at just 16 he took his own life his harassers never sent out the video, even though they claimed they had. The teen had fallen prey to, you know, extortion, a scheme in which scammers lure victims into sharing illicit, explicit photos and then threaten to send the pictures to everyone they know unless they pay up. That's the poor guy right there. Perpetrators, many of whom are from Nigeria and the Ivory Coast, according to the Department of Justice, often contact targets through direct messages on platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, and, and WhatsApp. FBI says that 13 to 17 year old boys are, are the most common targets, guys. So they said that his parents had no idea why he took his own life. He had a good friends, a close-knit family, attended church, hunting, f fish, uh, Fishing, football, none of it made sense. No mental illness, no red flags, no drugs, no signs of depression. That's him and his dad. But then the FBI did a forensic analysis of his phone and uncovered everything. 
So this only lasted four hours. They never got to help him. Um, so they said, uh, in fact, the night before the Montgomery's spoke to the Post, Brian was contacted by a parent whose child had been targeted, and he was able to help talk down the hysterical 15-year-old. Man, so the, they gave the National Center for Missing Exploited Children and the, the cyber tip line. So here's another one, Ryan Last. The organization says the number of reported extortion scams doubled between 2019 and 2021. Um, okay, so Ryan Last was a mere days away from turning 18 and a senior in high school when he was contacted by Ivory Coast scammers who talked him into sending a compromising photo over the Google, over Google chat last month. He desperately wired them from uh, them 150 of the $5,000 they demanded. It was all the cash the team could muster up to this, up to stop the photo from being sent to his entire Instagram friend list. So this is one of the scammers. Within eight hours of the, of the first hateful message, he, you know, self-deleted. Once again, guys. These people can't take advantage of you if you don't send them anything. Don't. It, it, and this ladies too. You, you see um, stories of, you know, revenge, uh, you know, uh, revenge corn. Uh, I'll say the C word instead of the P word. Where guys will, you know, if you break up with a guy, they'll send a bunch of people the, the photos of of yourself that you sent to them, just as I can't say it enough times, don't send any illicit photos of yourself. Don't even take them on your phone. So, so they actually uh, arresting this guy. This guy who was in California. Another one. This is there's Jordan May of Michigan took his own life after the siblings extorted him last March. God, that's awful. And the thing about it is. is these, like the article said previously, these parents had no idea what happened. Like, no idea. And could you imagine being a parent and raising your son 15, 16, 17, 18 years old? 18 years old. They have their whole life ahead of them. And this happens. And these guys should, should be buried under the jail. Any of these guys that, uh, that get caught should face the, the maximum sentence. It's awful. But that's a, the new grift, guys. One thing, as, as technology changes, you know, business changes, scamming changes, crime changes along with it. So guys, it's up to you to keep yourself out of this situation in the first place. Don't send any illicit photos to anybody. Okay. This is 16 year old Waylon Sheffer. He took his own life in December out of fear that his explosive photos have gotten out into the world. They hadn't. In fact, his family didn't even know the team was a victim of extortion until investigators uncovered messages in, in, in Waylon's phone. Jason Sheffer thought he had taught his son about the danger of the internet, but one warning he, he passed on proved to be hauntingly prophetic. If it's some hot chick sitting on a beach somewhere, it's not some hot chick sitting on a beach somewhere. Sheffer warned his team on multiple occasions. It's a dude from Africa. Once again, another list. Waylon from Houston, Montana, loved baseball, fishing, farming. His father edition described him as as country as they come. His father, who's a diesel, a diesel part salesman, said Waylon's small town upbringing made him pray for extortionists. He was naive, but that's why. But that's why I spoke to him. He, he's a little country kid. So that's him right there. At 10 p.m. December 14th, Waylon hugged his father and said goodnight. I'm going to notice Jason and his wife, Christina, their son, who wouldn't get a wink of sleep that, that evening. He downloaded WhatsApp to talk to a girl online. They traded explicit photos. Waylon desperately tried to call a friend, but he couldn't muster up the funds. They kept, it, they kept him up, beating on him all night. The next morning, Waylon came downstairs. Poured a glass of milk and headed out to school, acting like a normal groggy teen and keeping to himself. Man. So he walked off to school and then self-deleted under a tree near his house. 
So anyway, be vigilant, guys. It is up to you to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Like the videos, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.